Well, hello, welcome to Izzy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have been anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Gemini love prediction reading for May 16th through May 22nd. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. It's not your story. It's not your story. Please don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading, please give me a subscription or a like. I will be most humbled, honored, and very grateful if you decide to do that. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on with my lovable, sweet, eccentric, kind Gemini's as you know if you listen to my channel you know I have a family full of Gemini's that I adore thank you spirit guys show me what's going on spirit guys show me what's going on my Gemini's show me spirit guys show me what's going on my Gemini's my lovable sweet kind Gemini's show me spirit guys let's see Jimmy's what you got going on Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Swords, Ten of Cups, The Magician, and The Moon. <sighs> well, Gemini's. You got the Wheel of Fortune that's leading your reading. And the Wheel of Fortune is all about good karma, good things happening, all of the above. It is about your life moving in a positive way. But you're negating this. And when I say you're negating this, all you do is worry, 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 worry. Because here's this Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is can't sleep, can't eat, just having nightmares, having bad dreams. Just can't even get it together because all you do is worry. It's like the universe is trying to give you goodness here with this Wheel of Fortune. I don't know if this is about someone. I don't know. I don't know if it's a relationship, but I'm just telling you what I see because that Wheel of Fortune is all about good karma, about things moving in your way. But what you're doing is you're negating it because here's this Nine of Swords. What are you worrying about, Gemini? What is it? That is still in your joy. That is still in your goodness. What is it that's still in it? Is it a person? Something is still in your goodness here. You've got it. Your will of fortune is leading your reading. You've got it. But yet here you are just worrying about something. Always worrying about it. Can't release it. Just something that is going on this, this, that's, uh, that you're always worried about. I don't know what it is. And what's interesting is that in the middle of your reading, you've got the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is that happily ever after card. That Ten of Cups is that, that card of, and life is good. And that's what the Wheel of Fortune is trying to show you here. But the Ten of Cups is in the middle of your reading, and that means that's what you want. That's what the universe is trying to give to you. Because here, you got the Wheel of Fortune on one side, and you got the Ten of Cups on the other side. But here's that stinking thinking, Nine of Swords in the middle of your reading. Let the stinking thinking go. Whatever is going on, I don't know what it is, but it, sh it would, should not be here. This nine of swords should not be here because things are moving in your favor. The universe wants to bless you in kind. It wants to give you goodness, but somehow you keep letting the stinking thinking keep seeping back in. Let me say, um, energy, you know, uh, it's never lost. You know, it, it goes back and forth. And until you release this energy, you won't get these things that the universe is trying to give you. So here you have the magician. The magician is all about manifestation. I don't know who or what or what you're trying to manifest. But once again, I want to tell you that the universe is trying to give it to you. It is really, really trying to give you your heart's desire and what you want. The, the magician, like I said, is a manifestation card. But look, then you have the moon card. So it's like every time you get to one level, here comes another level. Here comes something else that makes everything just... Uh, you, you're having delusions, you, you know, you, it's almost like you can't believe that you're getting the goodness and the manifestation um, that is coming to you. Even though you've asked the universe for it, it's almost like you can't accept it because you still have stinking thinking. Stinking thinking here with the Nine of Swords. And with this Moon card here, it's like it's, it's like it's unbelievable to you. It's like you think you never can get there. It's like you don't feel like you deserve it or something that's going on here. 
I don't know what, like I said, I don't know who I'm reading for. So I don't know if it's not your um, reading. Don't take this like that, like um, personal. But what I'm saying to you, there's some stinking thinking going on here when the universe is trying to bless you with what you've asked for. I don't know what you've asked for. If you give me another three to five minutes, I'm going to clarify the reading for you. So let's see what the spirit guides want you to know. I'm going to clarify the reading. Um, if I were you, I'd want to sit back and just kind of see what's going on. Just give me three to five minutes. So let's see, why is the Wheel of Fortune at the beginning of your reading? Show me why the Wheel of Fortune is at the beginning of your reading. Spirit guides, can you please show me why the Wheel of Fortune is at the beginning of your reading? Show me, Spirit guides, show me. Well, what did I tell you? Whenever the universe... Whenever the universe, whenever the spirit guides give you two of the same cards in the reading, over this will of fortune, this is why you can't receive the goodness. This is why you can't get up is because you don't believe you deserve it. There's something there that's keeping you from believing that you don't deserve this either a good partner, a good life, a good relationship. It is something that's there. Because here is this moon card of this will of fortune. And it's like you just, you know, you're, you're having illusions because you just don't believe it. Let's see why this stinking thinking is going on with this nine of swords. Show me, spirit guys. Why is the stinking thinking going on? Ah, you've got the ten of swords. So, hmm. Something ended. Someone broke your heart or something ended and it was a nasty ending. That's why you're going through this. Because the Ten of Swords is an ending. It's not just a ending. It's somebody backstabbed you. Somebody broke your heart. Someone that you thought would never do you like that did you like that. And that's why you're worried here. This is why the stinking thinking is going on. That's why the stinking thinking, even though the universe is trying to give you everything your heart's desire. This energy right here is still stuck here. You got to get out of this energy is still stuck. I'm just reading what the cards are telling you. Here's a ten of swords right there. That energy is still stuck there. That's what's going on. That's why you don't believe that you're good enough or that this energy is for you or that you deserve goodness and good karma. So let's see why the ten of cups is here. Show me spirit guys. Why is the ten of cups here? Show me spirit guys. Why is the ten of cups here? Show me why the ten of cups is here. So, you've got the Page of Swords. The Page of Swords. Now, you know, Page of Swords for me is, is all about communication. Um, all kind of communication. And I don't know, but I think that someone, because see, this Page of Swords here is looking at the Ten of Swords here. You know, and the Ten of Swords, there's a lot of swords in your reading. This is a lot of air energy in your reading as well. But it's all about, it's a lot of cerebral energy coming from your mind. But this page of swords for me, looking at to that ten of swords, you saw something, something happened. You've seen something because page of swords is communication. Uh, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, um, email, I don't know, whatever. Uh, you uh, DMs, whatever. You've seen something and that's why this ten of swords keeps happening. You can't get out of this energy because you see something. Because you see that page of swords is saying that. You can't get to your happily ever after because you saw something that hurts you. And it hurts you deeply. And you can't get out of that energy because of that. And you know, I, I hate to say it, but it's almost like one of those things where someone is deliberately, and I, I don't know if they're deliberately or if the energy is just deliberately uh, showing you things that you can never get out of the energy to get to your Ten of Cups. Like I said, the universe trying, is trying to bless you. The universe is not working against you. It is working for you, Gemini, if you could just get out of this energy. So let's see. Why is the Magician card here? Show me, Spirit Guides. Why is that Magician card here? Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Now, as I told you before, and I'll say it again, the Magician card is here because it's manifestation. It's magic. It's like the Magician card is literally magic. It's the universe giving you, and you asking the universe for something, and it giving it, it's giving it to you. But here's the problem. you got the Two of Pentacles here. This reading is all about you just not being sure. 
It's like you just uh, every t uh, being negative, being like I said, stinking thinking. It's just all that's what it's about. Because two of pentacles means one minute you're good with something, the next minute you're not. One minute you think things are happening, the next minute you don't. It's like you're juggling emotions. You just ju your emotions keep juggling. Now, we are in a Mercury retrograde, so this could get this could be happening to you as well. Unfortunately, because you've got it. You really do. The universe is trying to bless you. You've got it, but you're juggling these emotions. Not only you're juggling emotions, I think, too, for someone that you loved. Because, like I said, that page of sources, you keep seeing mess. You keep seeing mess. You keep seeing mess, and it keeps leading to that um, ten of swords that you had with them. So let's see why the um, moon card is here. Show me, spirit, guys. Why is the moon card here? Huh. Six of pentacles. I think that you feel like well, that Six of Pentacles is normally a generous card. It's a give and a take card. It's a very kind relationship. It's a very giving relationship. But I don't think that that's what it is here. You kind of, you might want to look at it like that, but that's illusions because this isn't, isn't what it is. Because here's this moon card here, and then you have the Two of Pentacles. Um, you wanted to manifest this type of relationship, but this is not what this relationship turned out to be. Six of Pentacles means someone is being very kind to you. Uh, you're both giving and, you know, loving each other, and it's, it's very balanced. Uh, both give and take, but no, because here you have with this moon card, which means that it's illusions. This is an illusion to you. Um, this is This is not what you... You think it is. Put it like that. It's just not what you think it is. That's why that balance is there going on right there. That's why the universe is, you're still balancing those emotions. But here, let's look at the very beginning of this reading. Will of Fortune. The universe is being kind to you. It's good to you. Things are moving in your favor. But then you have this moon card. Somehow you don't believe that you deserve this or you feel like it's illusion. You don't, you don't, un you don't think it's really happening because you don't understand how it could happen because nine of swords, this is a, a stinking thinking card. This is no matter what you're stuck in this energy right now of hurt. Uh, because the ten of swords over this nine of swords is just basically telling you, you can't sleep, you can't eat. There's, I mean, you stay up at night, there's nightmares, there's bad dreams, or however you want to look at it. Because someone betrayed you and they hurt you deeply and you, you're in that energy right now. But I, I, I don't know what to say other than the universe with this ten of cups here is trying to bless you. And then you have the page of swords where... Page of Sources Communication, looking at that Ten of Swords means that you have looked back on what they have done and what they've done to you, and you keep hurting about it. But here's the Magician, which, like I said, once again, the universe wants to bless you, Manifestation, and then you have the Two of Pentacles where your emotions keep juggling. Then you have the Moon card. Here you are in illusions again because this relationship is not a kind and generous relationship. Um, I don't know if it ever was. I don't know what it is. I, was, I don't know who, whomever I'm reading for. So let's see. See what my angel oracles have to say. Let me see what my angel oracles have to say. Well, they say signs and reminders, and I'm going to take that card this time because it's signs of what has happened in the past and what's going on, and it's signs just trying to show.